If you've ever found yourself staring at a long to-do list, yawning through a lecture, or gearing up for a night shift, you've probably asked yourself the same question millions of people do every day. Should I grab an energy drink or just stick with a cup of coffee? Both are go-to choices for fighting fatigue, boosting alertness, and helping us power through the day. But here's the real debate. When it comes to long-lasting energy, which one actually does a better job? In other words, which gives longer-lasting energy, energy drinks or coffee? That's exactly what we're breaking down today, right here on History of Simple Things. At the heart of this debate is one word, caffeine. Both energy drinks and coffee rely heavily on it to give you that boost of wakefulness. Caffeine works by blocking adenosine, a chemical in your brain that promotes sleepiness. When adenosine can't do its job, you feel more alert, focused, and less tired. But here's where things start to differ. A standard cup of coffee, depending on how it's brewed, can contain anywhere from 80 to 120 milligrams of caffeine. Energy drinks, on the other hand, vary widely. Some have a modest 70 milligrams, while others pack over 300 milligrams in a single can. That's the equivalent of nearly three cups of coffee at once. So if it were just about raw caffeine content, some energy drinks would blow coffee out of the water. But that's only part of the story. What makes energy drinks unique is that they don't just stop at caffeine. They're often loaded with a cocktail of other ingredients, things like taurine, B vitamins, guarana, ginseng, and sugars. The marketing suggests that these extras work together to create a more powerful, longer-lasting energy boost. For example, guarana is another plant-based source of caffeine meaning the actual caffeine content in an energy drink might be even higher than what's on the label. Taurine is an amino acid that's thought to improve mental performance, though studies on its real effectiveness are mixed. Then you have the high doses of B vitamins, which help your body convert food into usable energy. But the most noticeable extra in many energy drinks is sugar. Some cans contain over 50 grams of sugar, which is double the daily recommended amount in just one serving. And while sugar can give you a fast energy spike, it's also notorious for causing the dreaded crash a couple hours later. So yes, energy drinks might hit you harder and faster, but that doesn't necessarily mean they'll keep you going longer. Coffee, on the other hand, is much more straightforward. It's essentially just caffeine delivered through roasted beans and hot water, with very few extras unless you add them yourself. What makes coffee interesting is how the body processes it. The caffeine in coffee is absorbed into your bloodstream within about 15 to 45 minutes of drinking it, and its effects can last anywhere from 3 to 5 hours depending on your metabolism. But here's the kicker. Coffee doesn't usually come with the massive amounts of sugar that energy drinks do. Unless you're ordering a caramel frappuccino topped with whipped cream, coffee tends to give you a cleaner source of stimulation without the quick spike and crash. That's one reason why coffee drinkers often report feeling a more stable, sustained kind of alertness compared to the roller coaster ride of energy drinks. Another interesting angle is the difference between mental energy and physical energy. Energy drinks often market themselves as enhancing physical performance, which is why athletes, gamers, and people pulling all-nighters are common customers. The mix of caffeine, sugar, and other additives can make you feel more wired and physically restless. Coffee, however, has traditionally been seen as more of a mental pick-me-up. That's why it's the drink of choice for office workers, writers, students, and anyone who needs to focus for long stretches. 
Its effects feel more cognitive, helping you concentrate and stay awake rather than making you feel like you need to run laps around the block. So if your goal is long-lasting mental alertness, coffee often wins. If you need a short-term surge of physical energy, an energy drink might feel stronger, but it won't necessarily last longer. Now here's where things get personal. How your body reacts to caffeine depends heavily on your tolerance. Regular coffee drinkers sometimes build up a tolerance, meaning they need two or three cups just to feel the same buzz one cup used to provide. Energy drink users face the same issue, but because the caffeine content can be so much higher, it's easier to go overboard. The recommended safe daily caffeine intake for most adults is about 400 milligrams. That's roughly four small cups of coffee or one and a half of the stronger energy drinks. Go beyond that and you're more likely to deal with side effects like jitters, insomnia, anxiety, or a racing heartbeat. When you look at the long-term health effects, coffee actually has a surprising amount of benefits. Studies show that moderate coffee consumption is linked to a reduced risk of type 2 diabetes, certain types of cancer, Parkinson's disease, and even longer life expectancy. It's also loaded with antioxidants, which help protect your cells from damage. Energy drinks don't have the same track record. In fact, excessive consumption has been linked to issues like increased heart rate, high blood pressure, dehydration, and even in rare cases, hospitalization. The high sugar content also makes them a risk factor for obesity and diabetes if consumed regularly. So while energy drinks might feel like a quick fix, coffee is generally the safer, healthier, long-term option. So let's put this all together. Energy drinks deliver a fast, intense burst of stimulation thanks to their caffeine and sugar combo. But they're often followed by a crash and carry more health risks. Coffee, meanwhile, provides a steadier, longer-lasting lift that's better for mental focus and comes with proven health benefits when consumed in moderation. At the end of the day, both energy drinks and coffee have their place, but they're not created equal when it comes to long-lasting energy. If your priority is sustained energy that lasts for hours, coffee takes the crown. If you need a short-term jolt, like before a workout or a gaming session, an energy drink might do the trick, but it's not the best long-term strategy. So next time you're debating between cracking open a can of neon-colored liquid or brewing a cup of dark roast, remember this. If you want energy that goes the distance, coffee is your best bet. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.